Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so pumped up now because I have finally tested the exotic range by the house of Rosasi. The exotic range is known as Alborus. Alborus range has quite a few perfumes up its sleeve. It has Indonesian Oud Asrar, it has Ru Al Assam and it has one more Oud that I'm going to discuss in my videos later on. So my friends, why am I so pumped up or excited about these? Okay, I, I am so sorry I cannot show you a bottle of this because I wasn't sure what Rasasi was going to do with Oud. They were trying an exotic, they're trying to pull off an exotic uh, kind of a thing here, okay, with the Oud and stuff. Uh, so I, I thought maybe it's better to decant this stuff before I go in for the real kill. I have experienced Rasasi's top-notch quality in perfume making with the La Yukuam range and many others which have uh, which are supposedly marketed in the market um, uh, marketed as clones for the premium perfumes by niche houses or popular designer houses see I have told it in my last video I mean a few videos um, earlier uh, I had talked about this particular topic where I've said that these Middle Eastern houses have the potential my friends they have the potential but to capture the western market up to capture a wider audience they have to come they have to come out with something which appeals to the western audience more see i am not saying that the western noses are ignorant it is the west actually who came out with oud they were the ones who made the oud popular oud has been in india or southeast asian countries or the middle east countries for mil for hundreds of years but it was never so popular the west made it popular you have to give them the credit but now since they have uh, uh, come out with really beautiful gems they have created such masterful blends with ouds hats off to the western perfumeries they have taken the oud to a different level and this has also helped companies based in the middle east like Rasasi, like Afnan, like Al Rihab, uh, like Al Haramain, uh, and Ajmal, companies like this, to come out with newer products. They are exploring more and more of the options because Oud is a very complex topic. It is the animalic, old, old oriental kind of scent which not everybody will like. So they have different compositions which will appeal to different uh, uh, sections or sectors of uh, the perfume world. So today we are talking about Borus Asrar. This is the Indonesian Oud. Ru Al Assam, I have tested it extensively, but these perfumes are so, so nicely blended, such powerful bombs that I'm going to make separate reviews of this. I just wanted to show you. I am so sorry I cannot show you the complete bottle of this because I wasn't sure that this perfume will really uh, do the magic for me. So I wanted to try out the decants. These decants have been provided to me by Kamal Shahlani and now a good friend I'll put the links down below if you want to uh, contact him or if you want to check out his uh, uh, Facebook page that is Aroma for Life he has got a penchant for perfumes for niche quality perfumes and his collection is just absolutely mind-blowing so people in India or perfume lovers all over the world if you want to check out his collection and if you want to check out his um, exotic range of perfumes you would want to check out that Facebook page uh, anyway, talking about Boru's range Asrar. This is the exotic range which sells for about 150 to 200 US dollars. Yes, it is expensive. It comes in a really beautiful bottle. Check on the internet. I'll put the long. I'll, I'll put the links down below. You can go and have a look. Uh, they have some three or four perfumes in the range. I have managed to get my hands on these two. Now I'll talk about the notes. Look at the notes, please. Please look at them. I mean, please hear the notes. I'll. Uh, uh, I'll just speak out the notes for you. So this is Asrar Indonesia. Top notes are ginger, grapefruit, grapefruit and bergamot. Heart notes are vetiver, Italian orris, Indonesian oud, okay, and cedar wood. Base notes are amber, Indian oud, musk, and tea. Okay, tea, my friends. See, just look at those notes such a beautiful such a beautiful concoction of uh, such a rare thing see it's got indonesian oud it's got indian oud why have they put two different ouds oud is oud see oud is a very complex topic oud is spread 
all over the uh, Southeast Asian countries and India. Oud is very popular in, 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 in India. Depending on the quality, you pay the buck for it. So if we are looking at a very high quality of Oud, we, uh, we might have to shell out about $2,000 or $1,500, something in that range for even 10 grams of the Oud. If you are talking about low quality Oud or just, you know, the synthetic Ouds, you can get it for 30 rupees, less than $1 in India. These are exotic Ouds. These people, hats off Rasasi, you really impressed me, impressed me with the Lai Yukwam range. I'm still going to review uh, three of the, your latest uh, uh, perfumes. I am so impressed and I'm sure you, you, you are going to capture the Western market as well. Not capture. I won't use the word capture. That's a little offensive. I will say to really showcase your talent to the Western world. And I'm sure there are many viewers or people watching my videos who will approve of this after you get to smell this perfume guys get a decant of this this is a bomb when we talk about ouds something like this comes to the mind as you as you've seen in my videos this is fakat lil rijal or only for men by the house of rasasi you remember how i talked about it that was pretty honest about this oud okay a pretty honest opinion i am an unbiased fellow guys i'll definitely give you whatever is there in the scent i am not going to promote any shit i am really going to talk about the perfumes in a very detailed manner and to the level of my expertise obviously okay so let me start by saying this boros asrar is a pleaser all right it is an exotic exotic masterful blend which has taken very faint quantities of oud so this is not the animalic oud that you find in something like the fakat rujal which i just showed you i know that sounds funny that fakat sounds funny but that is how it is anyway it has taken the oud to a different level they have created something which is not so hard hitting to the nose it is in the background it is lingering somewhere around there which even the expert noses will find difficult to you know to appreciate because they might have not put their noses on the different kind of ouds that you have. Cambodian oud, Indonesian oud, Burmese oud, Indian oud. I think the Indian oud and the Cambodian and the Cambodian oud, these are the loudest ouds that you can find. This, however, is a subdued, subdued, beautiful, masterful. I, I mean, I'm finding it difficult to describe this perfume. So let me put it this way. This starts with beautiful natural freshly cut ginger with grapefruit which is also quite prominent bergamot i am not sure i could not make it out maybe a faint quantity which is overwhelmed by the other notes the heart notes i get vetiver the oris a little bit which provides that muddy or earthy kind of vibe to it even the vetiver but the vetiver here is so 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 defined so well defined i mean i have tom ford's gray vetiver that is my to go scent you know uh, whenever i feel like wearing a light scent a smooth scent which calms the mind i go i go in for the gray vetiver the vetiver here is very sophisticated it is very smart very appealing and very spicy okay the heart, the base notes have amber, Indian oud, musk and tea. Okay, I am not getting the Indian oud to be honest. Maybe it is in a very faint quantity. Amber is supposed to provide a sweet quality to any perfume. I do not get any sweetness out of this. That is one plus point because it is really different. The musk is very sophisticated kind of musk. Okay, this is the black musk. Just a hint of it. The tea. When you smell the perfume completely... When you let all the all the notes hit you in the nose, just at the peak of it, just at the top of it, okay, you are going to get a hint of beautiful black tea, something that you will sample from India. India and China are the largest exporters of tea. The black tea, the highest quality of black tea, especially the Darjeeling tea. You understand me, Darjeeling tea. Or rather, it is stronger than Darjeeling tea. It is something like the Assam tea. The Assam tea, Assam is one of the states which has the highest production of tea in India. The Assam tea, the strong black tea which will hit you in the nose. 
okay it is somewhere near between the Darjeeling tea and the Earl Grey that you get okay somewhere in between that so it provides that richness that spiciness to the end and it gives a deep character to this perfume the vetiver is actually giving a very deep character to this perfume talking about the presentation the presentation is absolutely beautiful it comes in a 50 ml bottle prices ranging from 150 dollars to 200 dollars very difficult to find because now these perfumes are not popular um, my friends here in india can get it from aroma for life in india very exotic perfume guys we are talking when we talk about exotic we are talking about something like chemi or alchemia this is the sub branch of uh, zerjoff they have released these exotic perfumes they had to because i am sure oud in a different blend in a different kind of a presentation is very addictive talking about performance on this thing this performance is not your beast team oud something like rue al assam here some this is not like a very uh, beasty intrusive kind of oud this is a rather subtle um, it's not a skin scent you turn your head and people will notice you you wave your hand people are going to take get sniffs of that you are walking people walking around you will smell it but it is not a beastly perfume it's not a hard hitting perfume it's not going to cloy you it's not going to annoy you i'm wearing it on a hot day and my friends let me tell you we use vetiver the the vetiver uh, you know it comes like something like uh, uh, shavings wood shavings something like that um, we hang it we hang it during the summers we put water into it we use it like a curtain okay it provides uh, coolness in the hot weathers in india and so vetiver has this quality it will soothe your mind it will cool your it has a cool calming effect during the summer so this really does the job for you this will get you noticed okay the performance it has a very good projection for about 6 to 8 hours and it's going to last on your skin depending on the weather from 12 hours to something like 18 hours for sure uh value for money this is definitely value for money there is not it's not a very complex structure it's not something like uh, you know which will change initial notes or something else and uh, the other notes in the you know in the dying drying dying down when the scent is drying down or it's dying down rather is going to change much it's pretty linear kind of a stuff the opening was heavenly the dry down is pretty linear and it's going to stay that way uh, so i would say it is a very you know attractive scent it is for men who are above 25 to 30 years of age men who are sophisticated clean well groomed who wear suits who go to clubs who do not talk much who have a magnetic personality i can associate this with a magnetic personality my friends this is going to get you noticed please try it out please try it out i'd say get a decant try it out and share your opinion with me okay there's nothing to dislike about this even vetiver lovers you're going to love this please try it i'm going to review rue al assam that is a brilliant take on i think the indian oud yes assam means indian assam is one of the states i'm sure this is indian oud the typical loud indian oud but having said that it is an exotic exotic perfume my friends please try this out okay thank you so much for watching if you have tried it out if you have um, you know the bottle or whatever you want to discuss something extra about this please feel free to comment and let me know and after trying the perfume please come back and let me know whether you liked it or not that really helps me thank you guys have a great day